we might find ourselves in a condition where we know that we have taken the best decision but then a conflict starts in our mind what if the decision that we have taken leads us to an even deeper problem one destitute brahmin in sravasti was going through this conflict in his mind while he was listening to the sermon of buddha the story of brahmin kula ek satka or little one robe tells us about the significance of not holding back once we have taken the decision and how restraining our good actions impacts the results of our efforts during the time of buddha there was a brahmin named kula ek satka or little one robe who was extremely poor he was called so because he and his wife together possessed only one single outer garment as the result only one of them could go outside at a time both of them were very devoted to buddha one day they heard the announcement that buddha was in the city and there will be a sermon of buddha at the jetavana monastery the couple decided that wife would go to the jetavana monastery during the day to listen to buddha and the husband will attend the sermon at night his wife put on the robe and left for the sermon while the brahmin waited for her to return and stayed at home at night while listening to the sermon of buddha a desire arose within him to gift something to buddha but he did not have anything with him except for his outer robe he decided that he will donate his robe to buddha but immediately different kinds of thoughts started to come into his mind he felt that he was not the only owner of the robe as it was shared by his wife also if he gifted the robe to buddha how would his wife go outside there was an intense fight of conflicting thoughts in his mind regarding if he should really gift his only possession to buddha in the conflict the first watch of night was gone and the second watch started he felt that he should finally act on his decision and gift the robe without thinking about the consequences and without any kind of attachment to his robe he again felt the intense desire to get up and gift the robe to buddha but immediately the conflict got stronger in his mind regarding the pros and cons of executing his decision in this internal conflict the second watch of night was also gone and the third watch started soon it would be morning finally the brahmin decided that he will give the robe to buddha without caring about the result of his action and with complete faith in the dhamma he went to buddha and placed the robe on his feet and cried out loudly i have conquered i have conquered incidentally pasendi the king of kaushal was also in the attendance when he heard the loud cry i have conquered he asked his guards to find out who has he defeated the guards asked him what had he conquered and the brahmin shared with them the story of his inner conflict when the king came to know about the victory of the brahmin over his internal conflict he said indeed it was an act of courage on the part of the poor brahmin who gifted his only possession to buddha he directed his attendants to bring two pair of clothes and gift them to the brahmin in appreciation of his act of virtue the robes were meant for him and his wife but the brahmin had understood the significance of the gift to buddha he presented both of the robes on the feet of buddha king was amazed at his devotion he asked his attendants to bring four robes for brahmin the brahmin placed all four robes on the feet of buddha the king kept on doubling the number of clothes and the brahmin kept on donating them to buddha finally king asked his attendants to bring 32 pairs of clothes to ensure that the brahmin and his wife do not face any hardship in going outside of their house 
the king directed the Brahmin to keep one pair of robes each for himself and his wife. Brahmin could not refuse the instruction of the king. King was very impressed with the devotion of the Brahmin. He had two expensive velvet blankets which were worth a thousand pieces of gold coins each. Once the sermon of Buddha ended, he asked his attendants to present the blankets to the Brahmin as a gift from the king for his unwavering devotion to Buddha. The Brahmin thought that he was not a worthy person to cover himself with those expensive velvet blankets. He made a beautiful canopy out of the blanket and went to the Jetavana monastery. He hung the blanket as a canopy over the bed of Buddha in the perfume chamber, the residence of Buddha in Jetavana. He hung the other blanket as a canopy outside his home, where the monks used to have their meal offered by him during their arms round. In the evening, when the king went to pay his visit to Buddha, he saw the canopy and recognized the blanket. He asked the monks, who placed the canopy over the bed of Buddha? He was told by the monks that it was placed there by the Brahmin Kula Ekasatka. King was amazed by his devotion. He presented to the Brahmin four horses, four elephants, four servants, four excellent villages and 4,000 gold coins as a gift for his devotion. This was called the gift of force to the devoted Brahmin. The next day, the monks were discussing the devotion of the Brahmin and how he was immediately rewarded by the gift of force for his good action. Buddha observed that the monks were having a discussion and he asked them what were they discussing. When he was told about the ongoing discussion about the Brahmin, he replied to the monks, Monks, the act of Brahmin was praiseworthy. But if he would have been able to win over his internal conflict immediately, and if he would have overcome his fear of the consequences of his actions, he would have received far greater rewards. If he would have acted on his decision during the first watch of night itself, he would have received the gift of 16. And if he would have been able to act on his decision during the second watch, he would have received the gift of 8. If one gets inspiration to act on a good decision, the person should act immediately and quickly. He should not wait or procrastinate. If he procrastinates, he will receive the reward. But the reward would come slowly and it would not be that great. With prolonged procrastination, he might not be able to act on the decision at all. Because for those who are slow in doing good work, the mind of those tends to delight in evil. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. We are constantly coming out with new videos on the life of Buddha and the Buddhist heritage. If the information provided by the video was useful, Please subscribe to the channel for similar videos on Buddhism. Please share your thoughts on the need for quick action on a good decision in the comment section below.